Cupcake here and today we're in Nana. It's Ritzy Cupcake. It's a three hour drive from Perth to Nanup, so we stopped over in Pinjara as well as a few other places along the way. Luckily, our trip coincided with the Pinjara festival, so we got to enjoy that as a bonus. As we were driving down this place caught our eye, the gingerbread house located in Volume Up. It is definitely worth getting out of the car for. Filling up our pockets with sugary treats, we then had our scheduled stopover at the Apple Fun Park in Donnybrook. And we've arrived at our destination! Here is our chalet and this is our view. We're completely surrounded by nature. Our phones don't even have reception here. Heading over to the reception area where you can get out free movies and oh it's all decorated and stuff, it looks so cool. And the accommodation has its own private lake. Apparently we're going to take this boat out onto the lake. Let's see how that goes. We're on a boat in the lake, paddling away. It's so, so peaceful and calm. It's actually way nicer than I thought it would be. Here's me learning how to paddle. It is way tougher than it looks. Now we're having fun exploring Nanup Town. Shame the lavender farm's closed for the season so we can't go visit, but we can pick up souvenirs from here if we want. How cute is this? Time to go find us some breakfast. There are so many cute cafes in Nana.
we're going to check out Condil Wildflower Park. Hopefully there's some wildflowers to see, although it is winter so it doesn't really look like it. We've decided to take the orange route and go on the She-Oak Walk. In the Australian Outback, this is how it is. found a flower. But wait, there's more! How cute are these little she-oaks! Look at their little faces! I wonder what lives here. breadcrumbs but we managed to find our way out. Sure, thank you. We've just stepped back in time. doing the Holberry Sculpture Walk which is a $4 entry fee. Was here than they were at the wildflower park. <laughs>
back in the town again to look for some lunch. Coffee from this place. from this place. Bye, Nana Belly Chalets. You were really fun, but kind of spooky in the storm. It's like fallen trees everywhere, blocking roads and stuff. It's insane. Now we have to head back the way we came and hope that the other side has been cleared. The lovely lady that owns um, the chalets, she actually drove to find us and she told us that the other side, they've tried to clear it so we might be able to get through but if we can't get through then we're welcome to stay the night for free. Um, so that's so lovely of her. Hopefully the other side is cleared now because we need to get back to work and stuff. Oh, fingers crossed. And we've made it out. We've left Nanup. Thank God. That was a bit more than we had bargained for. We've stopped over in Bustleton just to chill for a bit and just relax and look at the waves. That's all for this travel vlog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.